my dearest daughter. Today is your 16th birthday. Congratulations. I present you with this diary to fill the pages with your special thoughts. Special thoughts of your wonderful life. Dear diary. I don't even know where to start. everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have another video it's kind of different from my other videos but at the same time not really <sighs> yes yeah, so I feel like all my videos even though sometimes they're kind of different they all kind of channel the same energy today I wanted to talk about why I love to journal why you should journal how journaling has helped me just journaling in general okay this is like journaling 101 this is the top place to come for journaling before we get into it make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on my instagram so journaling from my perspective okay i have always even though i have two other siblings i feel like i always give off kind of loner energy like i am very introverted and like honestly i can go a whole year without seeing someone and i'll be fine it's way easier to just be in my own company so being that way i managed to entertain myself okay but also i was the type of kid that would talk to themselves I say type of kid, but that's still me. I feel like if you were the kid that talked to yourself, you're also the kid that journals now. Yes, all that to say, I have a very strong like inner dialogue. Of course, journaling just seems like a natural progression for me. Why should you journal? Like, what is the point of journaling? I, especially when I was like deep, deep in a depressive episode, sometimes you're just kind of sitting there and you're not even thinking about anything. You just feel shit. Like, I don't know why I feel bad. I don't know why I'm feeling anxious. I just am, you know? But a lot of the times there are underlying reasons as to why you feel that way, but you're not gonna realize it unless you kind of sit and you do a little bit of introspection. But sometimes when you're just sitting and thinking, it's very easy to just get in a cycle of negative thoughts and you're not really, you're not really giving much thought, even though I'm literally saying when you're thinking, but you're not giving much thought to exactly what you're saying. Whereas for me, when I journal, honestly, I will sit down and I'll have like the one thing that's on my mind and then it will just trail onto something else. And then eventually I figured out exactly what it was that was pissing me off. Like what was the root cause of the issue? I think I started properly journaling as in like a frequent thing when my mental health deteriorated because I couldn't um, articulate my emotions out loud and I couldn't understand them until I wrote them down and they just kind of naturally flowed out. So I would definitely recommend that. If, especially if you are struggling to connect to your emotions or if you're just having super visceral emotional reactions and you don't know why, oftentimes just writing it down allows you to reveal the things that you didn't think originally. I don't know how to explain it, but it just comes out. The other thing about journaling that I love is you can free things off of your heart. You can get things off of your chest without necessarily having to bend all this. You literally are just writing things down in your journal. You can write literally whatever you want. Whatever you're feeling, you don't have to limit yourself or to hide yourself or make yourself smaller because no one's gonna see it. I mean, hopefully, but the, the idea is that no one's gonna see it. And so you can be your most true, your most authentic self and come to the realizations that you need to come to without thinking about any judgment. But also, if you know you are having super heavy emotions, and this isn't to say that it's a you know alternative to talking to people, because I think talking to people is really good. But a lot of the times, if you it's constantly you putting your negativity or any of your like negative emotions on people, that can take a toll on them. So writing down your emotions and really going through it while you're journaling can be so helpful to give yourself that safe space especially if you don't even have the safe space you're allowed to give yourself that safe space without requiring other people to do so and also if you deal with a lot of anxiety there can be so many thoughts in your head so many things like oh my god i need to do this I need to do this blah 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 but a lot of the times i will just journal it i will just write it down i think it gives me kind of peace of mind that i've written it down i'm not going to forget it and then i feel a lot lighter like there can be so much in my brain and when I get it down, I feel like there's space for me to think about other things, for me to actually prioritize the things that I care about. So that's definitely a pro. But also what I love about journaling, especially with all these journals like I just had before in the thumbnail, I have journals from literally my darkest times 
to the best times and you can see how much you've changed how far you've come and you can also look back at those things and be like wow like that's how I used to think. That's how my thought patterns were. Look how far I've come. Because oftentimes, when you're in the present, you feel like, oh, I'm literally just regressing back to the same shit that I did before. But oftentimes, you've improved so much without you even noticing. So I think there can be a bit of a worry when it comes to journaling that everything has to be super pretty or that you even need a physical journal to do it. But the way I think about journaling is that it's super free. Like there shouldn't be any barriers between you and getting things off your chest. The ways that I like to journal come in so many different forms. I think if you want to start journaling and you don't already journal, don't put yourself in a box. You don't have to have a super bougie journal. You don't have to keep your journal or your pages super neat, whatever. You don't even have to, sometimes you don't have to write things, sometimes you do obviously. Um, but I think that there are literally so many different ways that you can go about it. The most simple way to do it is to get a cute journal and just write your shit. Talk your shit, okay? That's like the simplest, I mean, just the most easy, common, well-known way to do it, okay? That can be good for a lot of times, but I think, at least for me, I know that it can sometimes be a barrier to me journaling things and getting things off my chest because I don't want to get out of my bed and pick up a pen and write things. Okay, but like, how is it that there are so many humans on this planet and we each have such complicated thoughts and inner and outer realities and like everything we see even though we think we're just seeing the world we're seeing it through the perspective of our whole life so we might think that we're seeing the same thing but we're not same thing with colors i could be looking at red and thinking it's green but my green could be your red but i wouldn't know because we can't see through each other's eyes Tell me that's not crazy. Another way for you to journal is voice notes. I have so many voice notes of me just speaking out my feelings. And the same thing, like I said before, about how sometimes you can just talk out your emotions. So you can use a physical journal or you can voice note. And like I'm doing right now, oftentimes my YouTube channel is kind of my journal. It depends on you. If you have the space to do it, I think doing like a video log can be super freeing. You just talk and it can be really interesting to look back on. Like I'm super nostalgic about these things. So I like looking back on old things like that. So I feel like that could be a really cool way to journal. Another way that I love, this doesn't even have to be necessarily um, about like when you're feeling really deep emotions. But I like to do the kind of like... I don't know what you call this, but kind of like scrapbooking journaling. You know, if you go on trips and things and you have memories or you just have certain thoughts, but you want to present it in a more creative way, I definitely would recommend doing the kind of scrapbooking. Originally, I wasn't I wasn't using it to like do that kind of journaling in terms of like soul searching journaling. That's another way to journal. And you can do it on your computer, like on apps like Notion. This video is sponsored by Notion. Just kidding, it's not. But Notion, sponsor me. I really like the app Notion. I don't use it for journaling because I'm really unlikely to get out of my bed, get on my laptop and then start typing things. Like it just doesn't come naturally to me. But you can use things like Notion or you can use things like the Notes app, which I do a lot, okay? And the Notes app allows you to lock the notes so no one else can read it except for you, which is good. Another way to do it is by writing letters. Sometimes, depending on what your emotions are, you can just write letters to whoever it is you're having, you know, any kind of feelings towards. I don't mean romantic, I just mean like whatever it is that you are feeling stressed out about, whether it is about a specific person or not. I think it can be really freeing to write a letter. And especially if it's the kind of thing where you want to forgive someone, but you don't want to bring them back into your life. You can just write it all down. Like, use the letter as your little free therapy. I mean, I feel like journaling in general can be free therapy. A lot of the times you can get to the bottom of things just by journaling. I don't know if that's just me. Like I'm naturally super introspective and I can kind of see, I can very clearly see what's going on up in here. But I think it would be the same for everyone. Like the more you do it or just even from the get go, you would be able to tell where things are coming from and if you kind of struggle with like journaling or you don't know how you would start things there's like guided ways that you can journal you can find a whole bunch of free journaling prompts especially if you ever wanted to get into things like shadow work which is where you know whenever you get these kind of negative emotions that come up or you have a super emotional reaction instead of just leaving it you know just brushing it under the rug you can kind of think about it think about where it comes from so then later you can address it and know what's happening. Like you know where you're coming from 
and you know instead of thinking oh it's about another person it's actually coming from you like what is it that you're projecting on the situation type of thing but this also like guided journaling prompts like ebooks and things like that um one that i had was paradigm shift by um wellness with soph on instagram it is a little bit pricey to be honest with you but it, again it just depends if you have the disposable income to pay the 30 dollars to do that but i did it i quite liked it i think i like there being some kind of structure to my journaling or just like i like knowing that there's like a kind of direct path i could go down but i don't always use it because most of the time whenever i pick up my journal it's because there's just a lot of emotions in my head and there's no structure to it like barely ever is there any structure but yeah you could always do something like that and i think with wellness, wellness with soaps book there's like a little um instagram account that you can join as well when you buy the ebook and she'll talk about all the different things on there whether it's like wellness um sex and relationships however i can't even recommend that to you because i have never actually been accepted into it and i didn't want to request again because i feel like she'll think i'm a bit weird so i don't know if i would actually recommend that because i don't know if you'll be let in but the actual concept and the idea of it is good but again if you don't want to spend your money you can 100 percent find a bunch of free journal prompts i just don't use any at all okay because that's what i do i think the idea is the next time you're feeling super overwhelmed about something just pick up your journal or pick up your phone to voice note and just talk it out i can't explain how helpful it is to talk it out and how literally in a couple of seconds you'll realize hmm so this is where i'm actually coming from this is where this emotional reaction is actually coming from it's so helpful and also just key to getting to know yourself and the ways in which you interact with other people so the next thing that i wanted to show was basically some wisdom from my journal because i journal a lot and i don't know if it's because my dad because my dad honestly can make anything philosophical but i just i just talk a lot of shit in my journals so i thought i would share some of it with you you know i'm already vulnerable on the internet i might as well do the most and actually read my journal i'm not reading the most vulnerable stuff don't worry i need to have some boundaries right okay this is what i wrote on the 11th of may 2020 so i was journaling about something else afterwards but i'll get to the point i promise okay i found old vlog footage from 2016 a really ugly me appeared but i felt like i'd failed her imagine if i hadn't given in to the subconscious peer pressure and kept posting videos i could be a lot further along the journey than i am now although the past is in the past if i'm being called to make videos again it's for a reason then later on i thought if i could give myself anything what would i do I don't mean monetary things, but like, what would I do if I was my, what? She's a little red, she can't fucking breathe. What would I, if I was my friend, want for me? That's when I realized, although there is a lot I can't control, there's also so much that I can't control. I can't keep feeling bad that every day passes the same as the last if I don't do something different to change the day's outcome. I would say to myself if I was my friend, you deserve the world. Treat yourself to that inner work. Don't just read self-help books and immerse yourself in them and take on their teachings. If you want to be a writer, all you have control over is writing, so write. If you want to improve on dance, incorporate yoga or laying guitar, you can. Just start doing it. Not to achieve perfection, but to actively have a hand in your own growth. You are worthy of love, so give yourself that. Fill yourself up to the point where you have no choice but to make others feel it. Rediscover what makes you happy and embrace it. Your life is in your hands. Don't just stand by and watch it happen. Nobody ever succeeds at anything by simply thinking about it. Just do it. Okay, I don't think I need to really elaborate on that. I just said what I said. And then this was something I wrote in my journal on the day that I heard about um, Chadwick's death. Chadwick, I mean, I feel like everyone loves Chadwick. So you can understand how upset I was. And, you know obviously this video wasn't about chadwick but the things chadwick did for the black community for black kids everywhere you know it just really hit me the way that he he was dealing with it while he was making all these crazy movies and shit anyway on that day i saw a lot of his quotes and these were two that i felt really resonated with me he said purpose is an essential element of you your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill the struggles along the way oh my god let me know why am i getting emotional relax relax <clears throat> p 
Purpose is an essential element of you. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. The struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Another one was, sometimes you need to feel the pain and the sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined, predestined inside of you. Listen, that man was wise, okay? Like, I really treasure the things that, that he said. This one's labeled shower thoughts. Okay, so I said I had really profound thoughts in the shower, but as usual, I forgot. Life is the sum of a bunch of moments. Brief fragments of time. Is it more important to be known or to know yourself? Is the question I should be asking. Billions of people live and die without the world knowing their name. But I think there's something even more profound about having tried your hardest and making something out of your life when no one's watching. Every small action snowballs into bigger achievements and successes. And these successes can only be measured by, measured against your individual life. I think we'd be happier if we left the comparisons behind and lived the best we can in this moment, right here. Every step, every breath counts. Oh, this one is so random. So imagine this was like, maybe my first like, night out or whatever. I said men stay crusty, LMAO. Some guy asked me for my number in his <laughs> and in his notes I wrote stream boom by NCT Dream. This is why you shouldn't stand K-pop guys. This is why you shouldn't you shouldn't get into K-pop. Like that I think NCT had just had their comeback that day. Obviously my brain wasn't there and I didn't want to give the guy my number, so I was like just typing things in. He obviously thought it was his number. Maybe. That was not my number. And then this one was kind of random. My good days last about as long as my nails. In the beginning, they're fresh, new coat of paint, longish. Eventually, they begin to chip slightly. A few too long showers cause them to go weak again, and they begin to break. The nail varnish cracks and vanishes, revealing a broken chip nail beneath. Uh, kind of poetic, but kind of gross. Basically, that's the only information that I have on journaling. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you decided to do journaling or if you already journal, like how your journal, journaling journey is going and things. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye. She's biracial. She's a biracial girl.